Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. All right, you guys, today I am so excited because we are doing some Kirkland's dupes. Now you guys know if you've ever been on their website that they have absolutely beautiful decor. However, I think that their stuff is very, very pricey. So as I was browsing through, I noticed that there were a few things that I could absolutely make for way less money than what they were selling it for. Now, of course, in this video, I've used mostly Dollar Tree items, a few items from Dollarama as well. So with that being said, let's jump into the first DIY. All right, you guys, DIY number one. So you can see this from Kirkland's. Check out the price, you guys, 50 bucks. So I am taking this uh, decor piece that was from Valentine's Day, and I'm just going to pop the frame off. So I'm just using my scraper, prying it up, and it came off pretty easily. And now just taking the staples off in the back, sanding them down, and we are just going to use the back of the, of the sign. And I'm going to mix a navy color. Like this is nautical, so it is already a dark blue, but I wanted it to be darker. So took some of the nautical by Folk Art and a teeny tiny itsy bitsy little bit of black. <laughs> <laughs> and just mixed it up and it came out with this really really beautiful navy color so we are going to paint the entire sign and I did do two coats and the edges too of course and so taking the pieces from the frame that we popped off there I'm just gonna measure here um, one on the top and one on the bottom and I'm going to clip those with my miter shears down to size and then just use that or just sand it a little bit first because it is a little bit splintery and then just use that as a guide and snip off the other one so that they fit perfect and using a little bit of hot glue just attaching those on to the sign uh, just like so <laughs> there we go and get rid of any dusties <laughs> so I created this um, this decal off on my Cricut seriously you guys I think I did really good with the fonts and stuff. Um, of course I have no idea what fonts they are I'm so sorry but I will link the Cricut uh, decal in the description box if I can so that you guys can just go on to your Cricut Design Space and download it from there. And now I'm using this little pumpkin. Um, it's styrofoam and I'm just marking off because I'm going to cut it in half. So taking out the, the stem and we are going to saw that in half. I'm just using a bread knife, so um, it worked really well. <laughs> and just saw it in half, and there we go. And making a huge mess. That's styrofoam, I'm telling you. Okay, so we are just going to put a couple of coats of white paint onto this pumpkin because it is an off-white, right? So we want to make sure that the sign completely matches and is all cohesive. And so, like I said, two coats, and then I'm using my Parisian Gray by Folk Art, and I'm just going into the little grooves of the pumpkin just to, you know, give it some dimension and some character. So just carefully going through with the Parisian Gray 
and I'm going to do that with every single one of the of the grooves there and you'll see how it just completely pops out there we go paint paint <laughs> and I do actually end up taking because it was a little bit too perfect if that makes any sense so I did go over it with the white just to kind of dull it down a little bit it still pops out gives it that dimension but I didn't want it to be like look like lines going down the pumpkin right like you want to make it look as realistic as possible so basically using that Parisian gray we're just creating shadows in in the grooves there and there we go no, it, the camera doesn't really pick it up in that instance but it looks awesome <laughs> so I just clipped off the little I don't know thingy that was poked into the pumpkin before I cut it in half and now I'm taking some orange acrylic paint now I'm used to using chalk paint obviously and acrylic paint is much thinner so I did have to paint the stem thingy um, with white chalk paint first dry it up with my heat gun and then go over it with the orange so that it actually showed up because it, there was no way that I was going to be able to cover that green completely and then I am going to blast that with the heat gun again and take a little bit of antique wax and just go over it just because I didn't want it to be completely orange so we're giving it some realistic character and then you know just going into the grooves with that antique wax I spent a lot of time just on the stem <laughs> but it's so worth it you guys it's so worth it all right so we're just going to take a little bit of hot glue here throw it on the back of our pumpkin and then put it in that little space that was left there where the pumpkin was in the original piece now the original piece that was just painted on. So we did give this a little bit of, you know, 3D effect by putting the half actual pumpkin onto the sign. I just love this. So now I'm just stapling on a hanger on the back and I, legit, you guys, I missed twice. I don't know what it was doing, <laughs> but you know, it, it just got three staples in the back there. And that is it. Look at that. Look at that. So mine was three bucks, theirs is 50. Isn't that incredible? And I, it looks exactly the same, I love it. you guys DIY number two I love this one it's so awesome the Kirkland's you see the price 40 bucks it's crazy so I'm using some acrylic paint that I got from the Dollar Tree it's very very runny um, but really it's the only orange paint that I could find I did have a little bit of other um, orange paint but I didn't have very much of it so I did have to go out and buy this so I put in a little bit of the Java by folk art and what we're going for here is like a burnt orange color um, so this was a lot of try line air you guys so bear with me if you have orange chalk paint then awesome you do not have to finagle like what I had to do so you can see there I put a little bit of white in and then I felt like it looked almost like a peach color so I wasn't really digging that and then what I end up doing is putting just a little bit of red acrylic paint in and I'm starting to get a better color here so again a little bit more orange and then 
you know, mixed it up. So this canvas I got at Dollarama, $2.50, and it is a 12 by 12, which is exactly the same size as the original Kirkland's decor. So this is exactly the same, you guys. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to create that uh, buffalo check. I would usually refer to it as gingham, but buffalo check pattern. And I got the tutorial from Whitney at Whiskey and Wit. So she's the one who, like I just looked it up on YouTube to find out how to do it. So I'm just using my paint. We did horizontal lines all the way across. And you saw that I did use a piece of tape as a spacer in between each one so that they're, you know, spaced out perfectly. And we're just going to fill in all of the, of the lines here with our beautiful burnt orange paint. And okay, you guys, so this is a canvas. And what I should have done is I should have covered the, the stripes here with a layer of Mod Podge first because the canvas is obviously textured and so I did have a lot of bleeding happening. Now, if maybe if I used a better tape, I don't know. But um, yeah, there were a lot, a lot, a lot of bleeds. So I was a little bit disappointed that that happened. You can see here. <laughs> but we do end up fixing it in the end. And so now we are going to go in the opposite direction. And again, you know, putting the painter's tape down, using a little piece to space it out so that the lines are nice and straight. And we are going to fill in the rest of this here. And you can already kind of see where the dark squares in our gingham print are going to be. It really did work out really well, you guys. Like it's definitely the best technique to use. I just wish I, I didn't have so many bleeds when I was doing this. So I, I was just checking to see that the color was similar like between the stripes here. And now what we're gonna do, I just reused the tape that I used for the first, um, horizontal lines and I'm just going to put them back where they were before so all that is left showing is just those dark squares so putting them all down nice and straight pushing them down getting her done <laughs> I'm sorry I showed you all of that, you guys. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, and so here I'm taking my original orange that I was using before, and I am just going to add a little bit of that uh, Java chalk paint, like that dark brown chalk paint, just so that I can get a little bit of a darker hue of the same color, if that makes sense. And we are going to paint all of the little squares in. I remember to do all of the sides as well because again, it's a wrapped canvas. So you wanna make sure that it's completely finished and cohesive. And this is very satisfying actually. Like you can't really tell that there's a lot of bleeds on camera. Um, there were, just take my word for it. But um, taking this painter's tape off after I watched it back, it looks amazing, you guys. I absolutely love it. Like, watch this. Yee, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, it turned out so well, you guys. So, so well. And then to fix all of the bleeds, all I did was I just went over very, very carefully with a detail brush with some white paint. And I just made them a little bit straighter. If you actually look at the original, the original um, decor piece, the lines aren't perfect anyways. So using this pumpkin that I got at the Dollar Tree, I just removed the little bow there and that will come in handy a little bit later. So make sure you keep all of your stuff. 
and I put a piece of tape on the back of the hole and I'm just gonna use a little bit of wood filler here just to fill in that hole. Um, I really like this wood filler uh, because it goes on pink and then once it's dry, it turns into like a natural wood color. So it's actually quite awesome. And now using the same navy blue that we mixed before in the first DIY there, um, just paint up the pumpkin all the way around the edges. And again, I do two coats of the blue. All right, so again, to the Cricut. And I, you know, made this decal. Um, it says, hey there, pumpkin. And actually the font isn't exactly the same as the original, but it's pretty dang close, you guys. I am so super happy with this. And again, I will try my best to link the Cricut links um, for these stencils that I've created down in the description box. So just putting that stencil down, just like that. Yay! <laughs> it looks so good. I just love it. And final step, you guys, is to hot glue our pumpkin to our sign. Make sure that it's nice and centered. I did turn it around so I could actually put some good pressure on it. And legit, you guys, that is it. How easy, how cute is this? It is pretty much identical to the Kirkland, size-wise and everything. So you see there, theirs is 40 bucks, mine was four. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Okay, you guys, last one, Kirkland Dupe DIY number three. So these little pumpkins, so you can see for the set, there's two of them there, obviously, is $75, $75 at Kirkland's, craziness. So I got these oval wood shapes from the Dollar Tree, and we're just gonna make our own pumpkin. So, you know, taking the three of them there, lining them up, making sure they look like a pumpkin. <laughs> and we're just going to take our white chalk paint and paint all three of them up. Now I did two coats of the white. And just make sure, you know, you cover the whole thing. Um, I did front and back and all of the sides because this is gonna be freestanding. Now, I got this little hello decor piece as well from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna use the base of it. So I unscrewed the hello, we'll use that later someday in something. Sanded it down and then again using that navy blue that we mixed up before we are just going to paint up the base and you know top and all of the sides now for the stem of this pumpkin um, i used just a painter stick did a 45 degree cut with my miter box and then i just kind of snipped off the pointy thing and then just rounded it with my sanding block like it was really really super easy to create and then we're gonna slap some of that navy blue onto that as well so using again my Parisian gray and this I guess it's a stencil brush from the Dollar Tree we're just gonna distress this a little bit just to give it again more dimension more character and then just make this pumpkin really come to life so just make sure when you're doing this distressing go with the same kind of curve that the oval has, right? Or else it's gonna look kind of weird. Um, and you guys know me, I'm very, very cautious with my distressing. I thought that I just did a little bit too much, so I went over it with my white chalk paint. It kind of smudged it a little bit and just made it look a little bit more natural, I guess. 
And so here I'm using my square from the Dollar Tree and I'm just lining everything up so that um, it's all level. And now we are going to hot glue that top oval to the other two to create our pumpkin. Just like that, how easy is that? <laughs> and then of course hot glue the stem onto the pumpkin as well. Now here's the bow that we took off of the previous DIY. And I had a couple of these metal leaves left over from a few signs that I made last year. So always make sure you keep your stuff, you guys. I go through my stash all the time. And using some of this wired cord, I guess it would be, it's dark brown, it's from the Dollar Tree. And I just used my pen to make that kind of curly cue for, for the little leaf stem. And I'm going to use that for two of them and then just like hot gluing them to the leaves. Just like that. Make sure you use your little finger protector. There we go. So then um, just positioning them where I want them on the stem. Then I am going to flip that over, throw some hot glue on there as well, um, use my finger protector. Now, just I took my finger protector off because it was very, very hot and there was a lot of hot glue that I put on there. Um, so I just took it off, pressed it down with that and good to go. And just manipulate them however you want them to sit. And then using that bow from the last DIY, we are just going to hot glue that on to the middle. There we go, you guys, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I just absolutely think that this is so adorable. And then I printed off this stencil on my Cricut as well. Sometimes I use, you know, the Dollar Tree vinyl. It's not really the greatest quality, but it is pretty good for stenciling. Um, I haven't had any trouble with it, like with bleeds and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, it's just because it's so cheap, I don't mind using it for stenciling, it's fine. And so just apply that. And then we are going to um, make sure it's all straight and then use <laughs> use the same burnt orange color that we had mixed up before and dab it on with our dabber brush and pull it right off while the paint is still wet and there we go look at that and so I did take a, just a little bit of white with my chippy brush and I just wanted it to blend a little bit better I guess with the white now um, I'm going to uh, take the, the base here and this is that uh, self-adhesive cork roll that you can get at the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting off, you know, for the bottom so it doesn't damage the surface that I put this pumpkin on. So, you know, just attaching that to the bottom and then I do have to kind of clip off the excess around the base there. And so I'm taking a couple of these little craft cubes from Dollar Tree as well. And this is what we're going to attach the base to the pumpkin with. Um, so a little bit of hot glue, throw that on there. And legit, you guys, this is all done. Can you believe it? It's so cute. All right, you guys, you can see that the Kirkland's pumpkin was like 40 bucks and mine was $6. Insane! you guys that is it for our fall Kirkland's dupes I just love how these turned out it just goes to show you 
how you can make beautiful decor for legit a fraction of what these stores want to charge you. Now, let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. I would definitely say that this fall is in the air one is my favorite for sure. I just think it's so crisp and clean. I just absolutely love it. Now, down in the description box, I will have those Cricut links for you. And also, there is a Buy Me A Coffee link down there if you want to support my channel. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you like what you see, do me a solid. Tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye, guys. microphone up <laughs> is that what I want to say uh... so today you guys is super exciting because we are doing some Kirkland's fall decor dupes of something in my label let's get into that <laughs> now, of course, in this video, I have used mostly Dollar Tree items and <laughs> reset. Oh, my eyes watering. Oh, my goodness. So if you guys have ever checked out Kirkland's website, you will know that the bird is making me mental. <laughs> now, that being said, I went through... Uh, so today is super exciting, you guys, because we are going to be doing some... <laughs> Hmm. Am I a little focus? In focus. I don't know if you guys can hear the crickets, but the crickets are going. The crickets are cricketing. Is that okay? Is that a good angle? Got the, the lighting. Lighting is good. Mm-hmm. Rock and roll. I think that's it. I think we got it. I think we're good. Let's roll. 